I'm Gavin Hurley and welcome to another episode of On The Fly. I'm here with Kev in the uh, Northern Sports Fishing Fly Line Factory over in Birmingham in the UK, so we're a little bit uh, away from home. But we've come virtually to the home of fly lines, where it all started uh, in, in a factory that's um, literally been going for, for many, many years. Uh, and now we'll run you through how fly lines made with uh, the help of Kev and uh, we'll show you what you know, how fly lines, how they've right. become. Yeah. So we'll see from there. Yeah. We could probably even start, I, I guess, just on the wall, on, and that's what it's so steeped in tradition and history over here in the UK. Um, and this, Kev, is like the original fly the original lines. Fly, uh, factory, the, the silk lines being made in the old Alcocks in Redditch, um, back in the 18th century. Yes. Early 19th century. And quite a time consuming sort of a thing, yeah, just sort of big long factories. Yeah, and yeah. And again, you can so see. What you'll see later on, even the skeins hanging there, the old silk lines is what we do today. Yeah, the silk tradition there. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So a lot of that, what they've done there, has been carried over yes, into the new yeah. lines. Yeah, so good. Well, let's run through into the factory and see uh, how it's progressed okay. to get a, a fly line that we can use. Well, I've entered the factory, and I guess the best place to start is at the beginning. And a fly line essentially starts its life as a little bit of braid. This is a 20 or 25 pound braid, 20 pound braid, uh, and this is essentially the core that, that goes into virtually all the fly lines that you make. Because it's every fly line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this, I would imagine, would be quite good, very supple, uh, casting, retrieving, things like that. Is one of the benefits of braid as well as this It is, yeah. It's quite low stretch. Um, I'd say it is. It is very supple. Run you through how, how it works um, and turn this into a fly line. Throughout the first process of making the fly line, again with like very large uh, braid, uh, and what happens next? Yeah. We then put a, a primer coat on it, which will help the outer coat in adhere to the, to the braid. Um, as it, is, it won't stick to the, the braid, so we have to prime it. It's a bit like painting the wall, really. Yeah, sure. You have to, yeah. You have to paint. Primer on first, and then the exactly. outer coating. The, the outer coating is going to be like PVC. Yeah. So I, I guess, as you say, that's what the primer is. So the PVC adheres to the braid uh, and makes a lovely fly line. Yeah. Yeah. So the braid's got its primer on it now. So now it goes through a different process to get um, the outer PVC on it. Um, and Kip was saying you can put it in, in various machines that could, various lengths, whether it be wakeboard, double taper, sinking, floating, all different techniques and all different colours. Yep. So quite an amazing machine. Um, obviously fly lines are such a personal preference that this machine can do it all. So it's, it's quite a, a great machine. Now the line goes onto these large coils which are, uh, Kev said, about 600 yards, you know, so about 20, 20 or 30 fly lines. And it, it's an interesting way of how you turn that into separate fly lines uh, and we'll show you a little bit later on the, the process of that, it's quite amazing. Now in the, in the fly lines we've shown you previously, they're all single colours. This is a, a slightly different system that does two colours. Now one of our main lines is our air fly line in the presentation and that does specifically these two colours. Because our rivers are so clear we like a dull green near the business end, something nice and bright that we can see. Now this system allows two colours, an orange uh, for the main running line and a green, a dull green right near the business end. So it's quite an advanced system here to be able to use this. This is quite technical. So the next process off the, uh, the large coils, once they've hung there for, for quite a while, is it comes over to uh, Sue, uh, and she's our lovely, uh, what do you call this, Kev? What's the uh, next? This is the coiling process. 
and it's where quality control, final quality control process. So you're feeling for any lumps and bumps or any imperfections in the in the line, um, you should cut them out and just check basically just for quality. Yeah, yeah. And that was one of the things when we uh, were seeing it on the, on the big spools. How do you know when the, there's, there's 30 or 40 fly lines? Where's it stop and start? Um, Sue's got fantastic hands and she can pick out a little bump. There's a, it's a great little system, it puts a little bump when the end of the fly line's near and that's virtually where you cut it off. So we'll show you the process how this happens uh, and then um, it's all called, almost ready to go. Okay. like a true professional so I think she's done that a couple of times before um, just to show you like we'll do it a little bit close up is uh, the fly line itself which is all very smooth and then it literally hits like a little bump a little ridge in there and as it runs through Sue's fingers she'll feel that now that's the end of the line stop it cut it spool that up and then ready to go for the next one well as in all good cooking shows here's one we prepared earlier this is one of the, the stalker air fly lines that uh, Kev lovingly produced the other day for us so we're going to whack this on one of the reels and uh, take it out to uh, one of these fantastic lakes in, um, in the UK and see if we can't catch a couple of fish with it yeah because yeah, this is guaranteed to catch fish these lines <laughs> Kevin assured me that this was so we'll doesn't come free to the line guaranteed yeah, yeah <laughs> exactly so we'll get out and see if we can't catch a few fish with it Obviously quality plays such a, an important role in fly fishing. Um, personally I think a fly line is next to a fly rod is the most important thing in the whole shooting match. So here at Northern Sports Fishing there's a lot of emphasis that I can see just having gone through the factory on quality. So this is one thing we do pride ourselves on is uh, quality um, at the, the finish line and also you know, the suppleness and the zero memory we've got in the Lack of in our fly lines. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's made them absolutely, you know, the perfect for casting and fishing with.